Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome, hey, everyone. welcome. Welcome to our little show. Hope everybody's having a good day and good time. Hey, everybody. So I have gotten so many messages asking if there was a Ken from the car today. There actually wasn't. Some stuff came up. Um, it's been kind of a rough day, so I figured I will be doing that tomorrow. So you did not miss it. It will just be tomorrow, um, and it will be a little bit uh, better day for me. Um, unfortunately, the, the pain injections kind of have me out for a couple of days. A little, off, yeah. off, little off whack. In the long run, it's worth it. Mm -hmm. um, and so, so today we are going to play with the Stamplistic Month A Cut Above the Rust today, which is a beautiful Ferris wheel. So I'm going to walk you through. This will probably be a, long, a longer video just because there's a lot of cutting and different stuff, but I want to walk through it. Um, as with anything, please feel free to let us know in the comments. If you have any questions, definitely in uh, caps so we can see it. All the links are down below and by using these links you do help support us So we do thank you for that um, And then uh, yeah, I think that's it. Let's just dive right in because okay. there is a lot. To I think do. so. Let's do it yes. Ready go one two go <laughs> there you are. All right guys, so here is this month's kit. This kit has a lot going on with it. So it is a Ferris wheel and there is a whole bunch of different ways that you can do these cards um, and what I mean by that is it comes with of course a stamp set so it's a red rubber mounted stamp it's really cool uh, this one comes with uh, of course the entire Ferris wheel you can see it right there and then you have the little car and um, you'll see here what's great is they give you this beautiful cutout that shows you a whole bunch of different ways to do it so you do have like uh, some people that cut out all the pieces and you have some people that just use one main piece we're really going to be concentrating on just a few pieces just because there is a lot of cutting and i do want to try to keep the video short but always remember when doing um stamplistic there's no one way to do it that's the reason they give you so many pieces is this way you can do it how you see fit and what looks good to you um, in this kit though you do get both these stamps so that way, if you do want to do a 3D project, you have the ability to, to. If you want to just do what we're doing today, you can do it that way as well. This one is the one piece die. Um, now, I did try cutting this one piece die. I would make, make sure that you are using a cutter that has a metal shim because it is very intricate. And if you just use it, let's say with a cuddle bug without a shim, you might not get that deep cut. Um, so I was able to use it on the Gemini and it worked great. And then of course we have our layering dies. So this is for someone that wants to layer all of the pieces. Essentially, and I can kind of walk you through what I cut with it. You do have um, the outside, which is going to cut your Ferris wheel, just like so. Um, then you do have some other small pieces. And like I said, we're gonna kind of make this our own um, just because I didn't, uh, I was inspired a little bit different this month with this. Usually I, I do each individual piece and inspiration hit differently. But we have this piece here, which is goes right there. That would be this right here. So you have this piece, you have this piece. I'm trying to make sure I'm in the shot here. Mm -hmm. You also have then, of course, this, which are your little tiny cars. You then have all three of these. And these essentially give you this outer wheel so you have this cut right here which gives you your outer wheel you have this which is the inner wheel okay and then you also have this really fine one and this is a teeny tiny one that goes right here once again you have this that would end up going here and then we have the star wheel so you have a star wheel that lines up here and one that lines up here. And those are all your pieces. Now, um, a lot of people then cut out all the little cars, but we, I'm really into coloring today. So I want, we are gonna cut some pieces. We're also going to um, hand cut some stuff and just kind of make it our own. Um, the only reason why I'm not doing a huge 3D thing is there's a lot of pieces and these are pretty thin when they actually cut. So it's gonna be hard for me to raise it up with foam and stuff. So I kind of want to do something a little different. So let's have fun with it. You can always hand cut too. So if you're, you have a hard time lining up stuff, that's definitely a possibility too. Somebody was asking, um, when you say shim on the cuddle bug, are you talking about the C plate? Yes. 
Um, I did not cut this on the cuddle bug. I will be honest. I used my Gemini Junior just because these are some, especially this guy. Go and take that out, Sean, and show him. It yeah. is very intricate. You're looking at um, a lot of pieces on that. So I would say that, in my opinion, you want to use a one that gets a really good cut with those intricate pieces. I tried cutting with the cuddle bug. I got a pretty good one. It wasn't up to my what I thought. So for me, it was better to use the Gemini Junior because it does come with the metal sheen shim built right into it. So that's what I would do. But see how intricate it is. It's absolutely gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. It's just it's a pretty intricate piece. All right. So we are going to start with Bristol cardstock because we are going to be doing coloring um, on this. And it, I've been kind of into coloring right now. So, And I'm going to cut this at five inches just on my paper trimmer. Um, it, everything, like I said, it should be down below in our links. Uh, it's been, you know, I'll be honest with you. You guys know I'm pretty open book. It's been kind of a rough few days for me. These usually pain injections kind of hit me, but these ones kind of hit me hard this time. And I'm not a big fan of it. <laughs> if you've never had prednisone, it's great. Get away your pain, but it messes with you. A few of you have reached out to me saying you've done it. It's well worth it, but what do you think, Sean? Yes, definitely well worth it. All right, so if you ever open up, I am using Tim Holtz stamp platform. If you ever open this up and it feels like there is some grit or anything on there, you can take a magic eraser. This is just a Mr. Clean magic eraser and see how it just gets rid of all of that junk that you might have in there. These are a must have in any craft room um, because it will clean up a lot of this kind of stuff. And I love it. How is everyone's week going? It seems so quiet. Mine Julie, is, Sean is all talking to me. Yes. Hi, everybody. D didn't miss anything. We're just starting. We are just starting. So I saw somebody said they are from the Philippines. Welcome. Ooh, welcome. I think that was Cecilia or Celia. Yes. We are going to be, just to let you guys know, we are working on our schedule um, because I do want it to be where you know, essentially you guys can plan your day. So like if you are here for Chaka Tour, we're gonna, might think about doing that on Tuesdays and Cricket Wednesdays and maybe Project Thursday. I haven't figured it all out yet, um, but I do, a lot of people have been asking me to, to come up with some sort of schedule and it's important. So as things start coming down for me and uh, stuff, I'm telling you this, it's great done, Sean. It's this Halloween stuff's got me running around town trying to find it and i'm not going to do it yep. anymore not yep. going to do it we're done done so if you go to a rate if you go to a home goods marshall's or tj maxx and you find halloween you let me know all right so here is this here now we are going to be embossing this so it's a i'm a huge believer in using my embossing buddy works great yep and um so literally all this is doing is it's putting a little bit of powder and it's going to get rid of that static uh, electricity that because this stuff is so fine it's going to stick to that um so also sorry if i'm all over the place this i'm telling you these drugs mess with me <laughs> um these come with a little bit of a backing here i take it off put it off to the side and we're just going to put this right here now normally i like to do a four by six card but today i figured let's have fun and do a five by five square card. Ooh. Ooh, I know everyone's like, ooh, ah, uh, I can hear it. Um, we did go a little bit early for our live today, and that's just because I do anticipate this card taking a little bit longer. Um, and so we decided to go a little early today. Yeah. So Sharon says her week sucked, her spine hurts. Oh, I'm sorry. Have to go and test on it. Somebody has an MRI tomorrow. I like MRIs, it makes me sleep. MRIs, I'm claustrophobic, so I'm not a big fan of them. No, no. <laughs> All right, so once you, um, you can see when using an embossing powder, like it, it leaves a little bit of that outline. Now you don't wanna push too hard because if you push too hard, sometimes your stamp can um, kind of flatten out and you won't get a good transfer. Um, so I just uh, do one and look for that little 
and we're gonna cover this in black embossing powder. Now this is Brutus Monroe embossing powder. Anytime I'm working with stamp plastic, I do like to do an embossing powder. And the reason why is when I'm coloring, um, it kind of gives you a little bit of this uh, buffer zone. So coloring doesn't mix up and stuff like that. So I am a huge fan of embossing. I love the look of it. And on these stamps, they're so detailed. They're gorgeous. I mean, look at just, that's it's gorgeous. It is. Yeah. So... And if you do have some sticking somewhere, we can always grab a little bit of a paintbrush and clean that up. Are you showing them? Yes, yeah, so we asked about the which one we got here. This is the one we're kind of working on. Stamplistic is the name of the brand. This one happens to be the Ferris wheel one piece die. Boom, booyah. Look at that. So Stamplistic um, does have a club. It's called A Cut Above the Rest. I do have a link going to their website. And um, you join the club and then you get all of this. The price does change every month depending on what the uh, stamp is. Uh, but the nice thing is, is once you remember, you can also go back to previous kits and get stuff that you fell in love with. Yes. Um, and it's a pretty exclusive club. I would say to people, it's once you join, um, you know, you automatically get this every month. And uh, I adore the owner. I love her. We just, I... Usually when I meet someone, I can tell if I'm going to like them, especially if they get my humor. You know, Sean, because not everyone gets my humor. I know. Uh, you do. I do. Hey, Georgia, down in the link, uh, tells you how you can get to this one again is the, their monthly, what is it called? This is the Cut Above the Rest. Cut Above the Rest. So this one here is this, this month's, right? This one here is um, on the front of the package, it should say. But I believe uh, this one was for August. I could be wrong, but on the um, little sheet that comes with it. Do I have it over here? Uh, I, have, all the I actually have not seen the sheet. Uh, oh, it's up here. Here okay. we go. So this one is, yeah, this one's for August. Yep. And you can join. So if you haven't, if you didn't see, um, they're the ones that I ended up going to in Puyallup Fair. And they had beautiful cards and displays. Um, I did a mermaid card last month that I fell in love with. So they have some great stuff. But they also have these cards that are, they're shapes essentially, and they're mm -hmm. just gorgeous. Oh, Debbie, nice. Debbie Smith is a foster parent, it sounds like. She had fo six foster kids go to their grandparents. Oh, wow. That's, that's wonderful. Yeah. So we are going to stamp this two more times, and that's just because I do want these two pieces here that are colored. Um, they are the internal spokes of the Ferris wheel. So I do need those, and then we will be done with the, the stamping. Ta-da! The mum was awesome too. Oh, mm. that mum was gorge. You know, and, and I think that's part of the the thing with stamp plastic is there's going to be months that you might, you know, get and say, okay, it's not my jam, which the stamp is still gorgeous. There are, you know, people that maybe looked at the Ferris wheel and said, you know, it's not my jam. But the great thing about stamp plastic that I love is they give you everything. So you have the stamp, you have the dies, you have the one piece die. And that way you're not putting in a box. You don't have to, um, per se, cut all the layers. You mm -hmm. don't have to do anything. They've given you so many options that you can be you and do it how you want. Um, this one's pretty impressive, I will say. If you layered yeah. it and had some, um, but you know, there's a lot of spots on here for gems. Uh, so you can dress it up a whole different way. Oh, yeah. So Cindy says she had a stressful week, but she's got a massage coming up this week at Ooh. the end. Oops. Oops. I've had a stressful week too. It's been one of those. Mine has just been very busy. Busy and yeah. Especially when I'm when I basically work by myself. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. It's part of the job. My week has kind of been one of those weeks, and you know sometimes that's I. I'll be honest with you guys. You guys are my peeps. So I ask Sean mm. <laughs> when I get into collecting something or when I like something, I get obsessed. Must have, must have, and, must have. And. Um, so of course I've been looking for this Ray done Halloween because I get so into Halloween because um, it holds a very special place in my mom's heart for me and so I've been out looking and the problem is is so many people want this stuff and you know my other problem Sean 
mm. is I, the reason I love Christmas, the reason I love Halloween, the reason I love doing crafts with people on YouTube, I love giving to people. I love Halloween more about, or Christmas, more about buying Sean's gifts and seeing people open it. So when I go to these morning openings and I find something, if someone else wants it, I generally would probably give it to them because it makes them happy. Mm -hmm. But then I lose out. You know, that's sad. Yeah. So. It is. But that's how the cookie crumbles, right, Sean? Yep. We got to look at what we are lucky in life for. Okay, one more of this, you guys. And then we're going to heat set all of them. And then we're going to start. So, once again, that's kind of why we went a little early is uh, these stamp plastic cards are beautiful. Um, I do know a lot of people that have joined the club will say, when are you doing the card? Because it can be overwhelming of uh, the layers and everything. Um, to which I always reply to people, no one says you have to do a card a certain way. No one is saying this is what the card should look like. You get a, that's the great thing. Did I do powder on this? I don't think so. Good catch, huh? Oh, you did good catch, yeah. Um, that's the great thing about this card is they give you everything you need to make a beautiful card your way. No one's putting you in a box, Sean. Nobody puts Shawnee in a corner. That's true. Well, we have people that used to be or still are foster parents. Oh, well, thank you. It's thank a you. thankless job, and mm -hmm. um, we enjoyed it while we did it, but we probably would never go back. Seven years. Yep. Somebody did said they did it for eight. Wow. We enjoyed every minute of it. It just, um, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. A lot of work. It's a thankless job. Um, it's very hard. And I was a family, we were a family first foster parent, meaning we, we didn't go into it to adopt. We didn't go into it for any reason. We wanted them to go home to the fam, family. Um, but it's a lot with visits and um, everything. So, and luckily because of all of you amazing people, Ken's Creations now keeps us busy. So, so Sharon, Cody, Cody, sorry, I don't know. Watching you guys helps me, picks me up. My husband says Ken's Creations is my new favorite channel. Oh, I needed that today. Thank you Thanks, so much. Hubby. I, um, it's very nice for you to guys say. Yes. As, as many of you who have followed my blog knows, um, I, when you have an amazing parent and you have an amazing memories of a childhood, uh, when holidays come around, it's still pretty hard for me. I lost my mom in 2004, and uh, she meant the world to me. And so when the holidays come around, it, it's I can sometimes get in a black mood. So you guys always help me, you know, bounce mm -hmm. out of it, and I love it. I'm very thankful for... Melinda said, Sharon, she's telling Sharon, the funniest thing I've ever seen in the ages was the tasting of the August munch box that we did. Oh, <laughs> We need to, uh, we just need to order another munch yeah. box because it's, we have, we haven't had one in a while. And, you know, I think, um, you know, it's kind of funny because Sean and I, as many of you know, when we first started this, we did our professional videos, which was the editing. And, um, mm -hmm. the one thing a lot of you don't know is the amount of time that took on me and a, a lot of pain it caused me. And, oh, yeah. um, and it wasn't making me happy. And now I do these live videos and you guys... Make you guys make me happy. Yes, absolutely. And that's why I, I haven't went back to kind of doing those videos because I love spending time with you guys and the support. And I get wonderful, wonderful comments from all of you. And when I'm having a bad day, you guys bring me up. And I'm telling you right now, I love laughter for that reason. This is the special club, once again, called A Cut Above. Through Stamplistic. You can stop it anytime you want, right? Well, you can stop it, but you can't rejoin. So there is no commitment. They don't say you have to do anything, but they don't want it to be where people just join one month just for one type of a design and then quit and then mm. come back. So, I mean, if you're going to do it, I would say definitely do it um, because you are getting a great deal. Yeah. All right. So we're going to heat set all of these. I am using the new. I love this, you guys. I love this. I love this. I love this. This is one of my new favorite things. Um, you guys all know I used to be with uh, Fun Stampers Journey. I'm no longer with them. And so I wanted to find a new heat gun. And I feel like for the past two years, I've missed out because this is amazing. Yep. So we're just going to heat all of these real quick. Now you can heat um, from the bottom as well. This is a thicker cardstock. So um, I'm going to heat it from the top first. 
Let me see if I can get close I can to the tree. Oh, you got it, Sean? I can Good deal. Yeah. You can just move it a little bit for us. You'll see it go from a kind of a dull powdery look to this beautiful gloss look. So Kelly said she went to the world of Coke in Atlanta this summer and had that crazy green Fanta y'all loved. It was so, so good. good. It was, wasn't it? Oh, that, I think it's just cream soda in general. We actually have been collecting cream soda and we're going to do a taste test. Oh, Renee, yes. So, so if you tough. guys run into any cream soda you want us to try, let us know because yes. we're going to, we have a lot of it, but we're, yeah. that's our jam. Well, I'm so sorry, Renee. What's wrong? Uh, Friday's the anniversary of her son's passing. He was 19. Oh. And they st still miss him terribly. Oh, I bet. Loss is that's, such a hard thing. Yes, it is. Oh, this heater, you guys, I'm in love. It's nice. It is so nice. Denise loves her Wagner heat gun. What? Denise loves her Wagner heat gun too. It's amazing. Francis says, will you ever bring back the videos where you chat about life and try different treats? Kind of like what we did in our... Well, no, that wasn't that one. We just did that a few times. Yeah, I'm... Um... I'll be honest with you guys. I have had a big, I've had a really struggle. Well, let me finish this and we'll talk about that. Well, thank you to World Swings. That's very nice of you. Oh, she even joined Patreon. Thank you. Did you buy this on Amazon? I bought this on Amazon, yes. Okay, there you go. All right, I think I got them all, but let me double check. So what I do is I kind of, I put it at a, a little bit of a tilt and you should see it all gloss up. Um, this is really important because if you have any if you're going to be coloring and you have any dust, it, your markers will grab onto it and it will uh, ruin the coloring. Yeah. So looks like we are good, all three of those. I'm gonna put these off to the side and we're gonna grab another piece of this white cardstock and now we are going to start doing some cutting. Um, all right, so to that question before, um, I'll be honest with you guys, we, I am a people pleaser and I like to make sure people love what they watch and, and stuff and um, I've struggled with my channel. What do I do? What do I share? Um, coming up with a schedule and I miss doing those but I also have to do things that um, can also bring in revenue so that's what, why Patreon is mm -hmm. so important and stuff like that because it would give us the freedom to do that. Um, but if that's something you want to see, if, if that's something that you've missed us doing, let me know. If there's enough interest for it, of course we'll do it. Mm -hmm. um, it's always so hard to know what people want to see, you know? So true. Hello, Miss Kate. Hello, Miss Kate. All right, so. They say your color looks better. My color. Oh, thank you. Were you. So, you were so red last time. So we are going to cut better. this out of white. So there's going to be a few pieces here. Let me get back in the view. Um, all of these are going to be pretty much cut out of white and they're going to end up covering a lot of the Ferris wheel. Um, so we're basically going to be cutting out these different shapes and then we will cut, I, don't, I can't fit this last one on, but we'll do that next. And then we're going to cut out the main Ferris wheel too. And then I'm going to hand cut the two strips. So we'll run this through first. But it does, you know, begs to dip, you know, since I have everyone in here kind of watching, what do you like to see from us? Do you like card tutorials? Do you like unboxings? Do you want the taste test? Do you just want to sit in here talking and answer questions? Um, or D, all of the above. Yeah, all of the above. We need the Ken and Sean show again. I, it's, yeah, I know. You know what, it's, it is, um, it's a little different now because you know, when I worked at a full-time job and this was kind of 
uh, the back burner, I could do whatever I wanted because I still had a primary check coming in from the bank. And it was like, well, you know, this is a bad mm-hmm. month affiliate wise. I have this. And now that I don't have that, you know, some of your decisions are made a little differently. Yeah. Happy birthday, Christy. Happy birthday. Are you using the C plate for this one? Not for this one. You are using need the what? C plate. No, this is just. Um, you want the C plate on the on the actual Ferris wheel, right? Correct. And so, I didn't do that with this. So. Yeah. So yeah, if he was to, where did I put it? If you were going to cut this die, this one you would definitely need the the C plate or a metal shim. Because as you can see how intricate that is, you would want to make sure you got every single little cut line in there. These are just going to be on white card stock. And at the end, you guys will see how that comes together. So, And as said, all of the above. <laughs> you like it all. You know, maybe... Oop, oop, oh, oop. sorry, Sean. Don't. Sorry. Sorry, for sorry, sorry, sorry. You're going to get... Sorry. It's okay. Today's not my day. No, you're fine. Um, you know, I need to... Oh, Kisha, you should be using that cuddle blade more than just once in the last year and a half. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> you need that in your life. You should be cutting everything. All right, so let me see which one is my favorite for my base, which I think is going to be... Let's see. Which out of these two, which one do you like? Do you think looks better? Or do they all look the same to you? They basically all look the same. You're so funny. All right, so this is going to be an outline cut. So I am going to use purple tape um, for this because I want to make sure. So we're going to be using this die. Outline only. Which is the outline only. Now, I did stamp it three times, so if I do mess up my outline, we're good. Um, I'll try to get a good one. And then we're going to start doing some coloring and having fun with it. Um, you know, I, uh, I'm happy to do any videos for people. I tend to be a yes person. So when companies reach out to me or different things, um, I tend to say, yeah, I would love to do that video. And then we push things aside. So we need to get back to just mm -hmm. being happy. Carmen says, I started watching because I got a cricket, but now I watch because you both make me smile. Oh. Oh, we're glad we could do that for you. You know what? I honestly think the reason I do for the Ken from the cars, and I'll be honest, mm. that's one of the reasons I didn't do it today is my heart wasn't in it, and I want to make sure. But I get so many people that reach out to me after the Ken from the cars and say, I was having a bad day, um, some stuff happened, and you made me laugh. Um, and those comments mean the world to me because I've been there before. You guys see my, you guys get to see my ups, but unfortunately you don't get to see my downs. And I know that when I'm in a bad, having a bad day, if someone can lift me up and humor can do that, you know, mm -hmm. making someone laugh is huge. So Francis says, I love unboxings, the Ken and Sean show, maybe put in a Patreon group, but would also like cricket projects that we can make together. So cricket projects meaning like in design space, like we start in design space, we, do it together and then put it together or stuff that's not in design space. Um, Cause that's the other thing I was thinking about doing is maybe bringing back more like cr cricket design space tutorials mm. and then start to finish, like design a card in there <coughs> and Sorry. then cut it and do stuff. So maybe do some more of that. Possibly. Possibly. Front porch crafting says, uh, I got the Gemini, Gemini Go and I love it. I have not heard about that, but I saw someone using it, and uh, my interest was piqued. Does the Cricut Cuddlebug have a metal shim? Uh, it does not, to my knowledge. I, I could be wrong. I've never heard of one. But I've never heard of one. So I'm not super excited about that lineup, so I'm going to try it again, because really we need the pieces on the inside. People love your Ken from the car. Karen says, you guys mean the world to us. Thank Aww. you very much, Karen. That is so we nice. We love, love, love you guys. I miss the drink drinking chats. Oh, geez. <laughs> we need to bring those back. I don't know how or when, 
Um, but I do miss those, and so you never know. I just want my chocolate jerk kit, kit to show up, <laughs> Kisha. <laughs> That's Kisha's second chocolate jerk kit. She joined um, and left, and now she's back. Good. I have to say, you guys, I do um, love Chocotour. It has given me the freedom to leave my job. It is a huge focus of mine, and I don't do enough videos with Ooh. it. I'm sorry. It's just the way this is set up. Sorry. I, I'm right. not sorry. Sorry, not sorry, because I'm really not sorry. I know. Because I can't change it. I can't make everyone happy, so I'm not sorry. Yes. Show us from the beginning of Design Space. Do you use Illustrator? Do I use Illustrator? Yeah. I do not use Illustrator. I use Adobe. Um, oh, hello, Christopher. Mr. Allen. Hi, Christopher. That one is a good one. So we're going to keep that one. Perfect. So Sweet. we're done with this. Dun, dun, dun. All right. And the other ones I am going to actually, are you ready for it? Yeah. Hand cut. Yes to the yes. I don't know what we're yes to the yes thing. Because you were asking, do you want to do a start from, from design space? So yes. They, oh. would like, they would like to see that. Okay, perfect. Oh, I can't do it. All right, so we're going to hand cut these two. Um, you know what? I will just do one more cut. One more cut. I lied. I thought the donuts were for free, were, were the free for doing our tax info. <laughs> no, that's huh? the uh, do, do not. Oh, this month's uh, uh, Cup Couture? Yeah. 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 No, that's, that was just, that was, we knew that was coming. We, well, the. Catalog has the ones that are all coming up. Yeah, it does, yeah. Normally you just wait to see what happens. You almost never know what it was, but now you do. Yep. Oh, They've... Debbie, thank you for the super chat. Thank you. It's always so hard lining up dies and knowing where they're supposed to be. Good to see we have a KK in common. We have a what in common? Wilda, Tally's mom. Hello, Christopher. Good to see we have a KK in common. That's you. Oh. <laughs> yes. Sorry, you guys. I am really not with it. I'm telling you. So if, if for those of you who have been with my channel a long time ago, so how, probably three years ago, I started getting immense pain in my back. And the pain was so bad that um, uh, it really affected my life. And luckily, I found a good doctor who does good uh, trigger point injections. Mm -hmm. And they're wonderful, and every month they do help me. But I tell you, the first days after it just is, they're hard on you. So my, my, uh, my love goes out to anyone that has to deal with pain, because it is not fun. Christine says, I agree with everyone. We love you guys for how open and real you are. Thank you. Sometimes probably too open and too <laughs> real. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> All right, guys. I found the one I liked. Woohoo! You really should have a reality show. People want to see everything you guys do. You know, I actually thought, um, Sean can probably zoom in here because yep. I'm just going to be we can cutting. Add, yep, now we can see something nice and close. So um, there is dies for this. I don't want you guys to think that you don't have to cut it, but um, my cuddle bug plates, I haven't got my new ones in, so they're kind of willy wonky and they'll cut off part of my block. So I am just going to cut it, but you can see where it would line up right here so we know where to cut. It goes all the way to that point. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to cut on the basic here and then we'll go in and detail cut this. So always remember, dies are great, but you can always use the two tools God gave you. Excuse, um, me. Excuse the shaking here because I know he's going to be a little closer to himself. There we go. So, um, you know, I've, I've been watching a lot of YouTube channels of other people and there was a, there's a, a point where I was like gosh I would love to just do vlogs and sit down and talk to people and you know go on shopping trips but my uh I know my base is uh crafts and stuff so I'm happy to do that but yeah I uh God, I would love to be on a reality show mm -hmm. Belinda says could you do some stamping and show how the brother skin and cut will cut them out uh do you have to be a member of Stamplistic to buy past month sets you do you do yes um as for the brother i definitely can do that uh the brother the problem is is we have to get sean has to set up a, a separate camera for that because everything on that machine is on that tiny little display yeah, it's 
itty bitty. Now that we have this dual camera action, we should be able to maybe find a way to do it a little better. Yeah, so we could definitely do that. Um, Somebody says they second that, that Belinda asked. Second the... Doing the um, scan cut. Okay, perfect. I'm assuming that, yeah. Ba -ba -ba. I'm trying to see if I missed any other questions. You had an RFA. I think I know what that is. I'm trying to remember. What's an R... Um, Melinda had a had storage in the back and then had RFA and no paint sense. Sounds like radio frequency something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Margo. What's that um, from, Sean? That's from the holiday masterpiece the holiday masterpiece if you want to call it that um of course i do that is a masterpiece man the uh come on you got this honey the griswolds such um, a good movie yeah I'm trying to, it's christmas vacation christmas vacation but they call it there's another part of that um, national lampoon national lampoon that's where i was looking for what details what detail scissors are you using oh these are the wonderful wonderful um uh, Tim Holtz snips, right? Mm -hmm. These are just the snips. They gave these away, didn't they? We were at Creativation the year he. You went and stood in line, and he. Uh, and boy, there gave, was a line. There was a line, <laughs> um, but he did give away so yeah. much. Yeah. And then we have the other two sizes too, the two bigger ones. But these things are really nice. They're serrated, so they're really nice. Radio frequency ablation. That's right. That's right. I remember that. When do the monthly Patreon hangouts happen? We are doing ours this Friday. This Friday, there you go. I'll be sending that link probably, what's today, Wednesday? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that'll probably go out tonight or tomorrow. And then there are some that get a 30 minute Patreon visit. Um, and I've sent out emails, but I've not heard back from all of those people yet. You can buy past stamps from dies, but you don't from the rest of it, you don't get a discount for them. Correct. I'm pay, sorry, I yeah, should have so clarified yeah, that. Yeah, you had to pay the full price. I had an epidural steroid shot in my lower back two weeks ago and I've been down and out since. Oh, I'm sorry. I definitely know that pain. Yeah. You know, someday, hopefully, you know, Sean and I, I won't lie, we've been looking at you know, kind of different options for us. I want to be able to have Sean do this full time with us. Mm -hmm. So, you know, maybe we eventually come out with our own line. We maybe go on the road. I don't know. We're looking at a whole bunch of options. Yep. Just don't know what yet. Okay, Val, thank you. Cuddlebug metal adapter plate item S114. Thank you. Yeah, I've never seen anybody talk about it or say that there was one. Very cool. I want to say, I remember it came in someone's, like, intro kit. Maybe an Anna Griffin. I don't remember, to be honest, but it, that sounds familiar to me. Radio frequency ablation electronically catalyzes some of the nerve endings. Best thing I've had done since my hysterectomy. Sweet. That is sweet. I got to watch a robotic hysterectomy once. A total. It was amazing. It did. They did the entire thing in 30 minutes. Boom, wow. Boom, done. I mean, that's literally once they actually started, 30 minutes, and he was done. That's crazy. Yep. It was crazy. And they used lasers. That's why I was there. <clears throat> all right. So the outside one is all done. Um, this is the one I was keeping, right? Or is this the one I'm keeping? Sean, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I don't know. Now I have to look again. Downton Abbey movie. Let's go. Really? There's a movie? It's going to be a movie. I don't know. It says who? I don't know. Somebody was saying something. Yes, to full time me. Well, of course, Miss Crafton and Stampin'. Hi, Miss Crafton and Stampin'. Just like All right, so this one, um, we're cutting the inside triangle. So if you were using the die, it would be this little guy here, and it would line up with all of these little triangles right here. So essentially, that is what we're going to be cutting out. So um, you can kind of follow these lines, but it's pretty self-explanatory. If you go... 9N, 9 North, I guess. The road, make sure you come to Alberta. 
We have been to the Edmonton Mall once. I need to go to Alberta because there is exclusive Ray Dunn stuff. And Ken is obsessed. Mm. And I need all the Halloween and Christmas and Thanksgiving. Like, it's bad. Mm. Sean, how bad is my obsession? Yeah, it's pretty bad. Why? Isn't that right, Miss uh, Jessica? Don't blame her. <laughs> she has nothing to do with this. Oh, sure, no. She just brought Ray Dunn into my life. She cannot be held responsible for the hutch and everything else. Hi to my favorite guys next to the brands, of course. Well, of course, they have to come first. The who? The brands. Little brand and big brand. Oh, is that Jessica again? Yeah, it's Jessica saying that. We heard her favorite guys next to them. They come first, we come second. Do you know Jessica has a podcast now? Yes, we do. So fun. Yes. Sean's actually been thinking about doing a podcast. Yeah. He loves podcasts. Who, If you're into podcasts, let me know because I'm not into them. I need to get into them. I think they're a thing, but I don't... Oh, yeah. that's, that's a good idea. Why are you not using the dye? So my um, cutabug plates are not happy, and I can't get them to line up, and it gets rid of the black. So yeah. um, not a good thing. Yeah. So essentially, I could sit here and um, get frustrated because it cuts off my black, and I'm kind of particular, and I want to see that black. So. I just need to get more of my uh, those dyes because mm -hmm. I um, my, all my plates are kind of um, warped and warped, and when they are warped like that, you sometimes don't get a good flat surface yeah. cut. Jessica says, "Yes, there are some good good Halloween in Canada. It all hashtag it all started with the mug. It did with a mug. Well, two mugs actually, but yes." I have been having problems with my scan cut loading wrong. What can I do? What do you mean loading wrong? Yeah, it should be just place and load. Unless you have some problems with your wheels maybe, or I don't know, it's very weird to even hear that. Angela says she would listen to me all day long. Aww. <laughs> Thanks, Angela. I probably would. You guys need a podcast, says Jessica. We do. All right. So that is all done. Yeah. We have our inner side. Inner side. We yeah. have the inner spoke, and now we get to start coloring. I uh, I do. I I'm right now. I'm listening to one that I was so far behind. I'm trying to catch up. I was listening to, and this is because I just happen to like the guy. He's a comedian. His name is Greg Proops. Some of you may know him from. Um, what is it? Uh, did you guys? Uh, I forgot the name of the did show. Did you guys hear? Um, He's on TV. Big Bang got canceled. Yeah. Wah, wah, mm -hmm. wah. Um, whose line so is it sad. anyway? Yeah, he used to be on Who's Line Anyway, the skinny guy with the glasses and the oh, always wore yeah, suits. Oh, yeah, 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 I forgot so, about him. So that's he's so cool. He's Greg Proops. He's very outspoken. He has a he has a, a podcast called The Smartest Man in the World because he's very, very intelligent. He uses huge, big words when he talks. And somebody just told him, hey, you should uh, do a podcast. And he does. And he, he talks about some very some controversial stuff, but... <sighs> How dare he? He is... Um, He's, he is for all women's rights. And, well, that's good. Yep. And woman equality. And that's good. He's he's against a few other things, I won't say, but hey, other than that, I, I love, I just love listening to him. He's really funny. All right, guys. So we're going to take this. This is just some paper I got at Michael's. It's part of like their gift, like their, um, I forget, what do they call it? The value buys, I think. Something and like we're going to pretend or use this as the grass. So I got this. This is from Little Inker Dyes. It is a stitched no, brass no, no. piece. Sorry, sorry. And um, we're going to run that through the cuddle bug. Yeah. And then we're going to cut our 5x5 five five card base after that. Now, you can ink these edges if you want. Um, you could do all sorts of stuff with it. I'm just trying to get some different colors of grass. <laughs> Bless you. I am so sorry. I don't know why I'm sneezing all of a sudden. Um, Becky, right. I have... Have you, have you used the self-healing mat... With the cuddle bug, just saw that one on YouTube. The self healing mat. Healing mat with the cuddle bug. No, I have not. I have not. That sounds interesting. I will have to. Thank look. you, Penny. Yes, whose line is anyway? Yes, Sean has a good radio voice. He Thank you. Is. Welcome to Movie Phone. It's I, you should hear me when I'm uh, have a cold. 
Yeah, that is true. With a head cold or when it gets down into my throat, my voice drops like an octave and a half. Does it? Oh, God. You know, oh, yeah, 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 I, yeah. I get yeah, really yeah, low, yeah, deep. Yeah. That's what I wish I had that voice all the time. Really? Oh, my God. That would be awesome. It's so weird because you never... The voice in your head sounds different than what it really is. Yes, it's higher than what you hear. I wonder why that is. I don't know. It's kind of weird, right? Yep. All right. So we are done with the cuddle bag. And I'll show you how those turned out. Eat cake, be brave. See? Look at it. How fun is that? That is so neat. I like that. Yeah. So we're going to put those off to the side. And then the next thing we're going to do is our card is going to be um, a 5x5 five five card. So here is, um, this is from that same paper pack, you guys. Uh, but I want to get my base cut so I kind of know what my sky color looks like. So we're going to cut this five. Wait a minute. Am I doing right. five by five or six by you said, six? You said five by five. I think anyway. I want to do six by six now that I made up. Because oh. you need a little space between the two, right? Yeah. So we're going to do actually six by six. I've used it with the kettle bug, Big Shot, and Gemini. Oh, thank you, Paula. Very kind of you. All right, so we have my six by six, and then we're also going to need to make a uh, card base for that. So that's going to be a 12 by 12 piece of paper. Miss Kabicki was at the pool. That's why she's late. Oh, my. Oh, my. I was at the pool. Yeah, our pools are pretty much closed now. <laughs> when school, school starts tomorrow, well, school started today for uh, Medical Lake and Cheney, and then tomorrow is District 81, and then next week are the the outlying county like Mead, CV, and uh, West Valley and East Valley. All right, so because this is a six by six card, we're gonna, to make the card, we wanna make sure we have a, um, <clears throat> six by six. So I'm just gonna cut this in half. This is just a 12 piece of paper. We'll cut it right at the six inch mark and fold it in half and that will be used as our card base. Nice. Why aren't you using your Gemini? Um, Somebody's asking, who was it? Because I have so many outlets and- They're all being used. They're all being used. And- Yeah, we've got these phones, my iPad, the lights. Let's Sean has on. a lot going on with yes. all this stuff. I've got lots of stuff going on here that's... And so up. I get to sacrifice to make sure you guys get a beautiful viewing experience. Yes. All right, so our card base will be looking like so. All right, and then our grass will go along the bottom, like so, once we have the Ferris wheel in there. So you can see kind of how it's coming together here. So we'll have a little bit grass overlying, which is okay, because we're going to have this the Ferris wheel, and then more grass on it. Yes. So we're going to put all that off to the side because now we're going to do our coloring. So for those of you who uh, know, know me and know how to color, I always want to make sure I have a piece of paper ready to go. And the only reason I need this is to reference where I'm going to start with the sky. So if this is going to go down here, I kind of get an idea of how I can color with the sky. Mm -hmm. And the colors I'm using for the sky, I'm using my Zig, and I have... Persian blue, cornflower blue, and then shadow mauve. So of course down here in these areas, we have a little bit of a darker sky and we get up lighter as we go. So I'll start with the darker colors and we'll slowly work up. I'm just gonna put this off to the side. It's gonna be on the base here. So I can work up with those colors. Mm -hmm. um, and I always start kind of with my dark colors in these corners and then work my way up. So yeah. for example, and we're not too worried about covering some of these areas because um, we, that's why we cut some of those white pieces. Yeah. So, um, Sean will keep, uh, the camera angle, make sure you guys can see me as I color. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be doing this a little quicker, so we might not have a perfect step because I don't want to spend the entire time I'm coloring. Going that way, right there. Oop, no, right there. Okay. All right. Can you do that okay? Yeah. Okay. I had a pool in my basement after a major rains in the Midwest. Oh my, sorry, Melinda. Val says it's still 105 in Phoenix. Pools rock. Yeah, they would. You know there's a new Gina K release tonight? Or was that yesterday? Because um, we did it yes, We did all that stuff yesterday. If there is, I don't know about it. Yeah. 
Where did they hear it from? Yeah, where'd you hear that at? Um, oh, I'm not even gonna, AN9EL3MD. <laughs> I know that probably says something. If there's another release, I don't know about that one. So these are, of course, for those of you who um, follow the channel, these are the Zig Real Brush. Mm -hmm. And a yeah, quick close up here for you. Zig Clean Color Real Brush. And we're using it on the um, Bristol paper. Mm -hmm. Bristol, is, Bristol paper is fabulous. I wonder what release she has. I did not know of that release. Hmm. Gina posted on Facebook, new release tonight. Hmm. I wonder if it's the stuff we've already shown. Yeah, maybe the stuff we showed last night. Was... Well, that was the toner sheets, but... Um, hmm. Don't know. We is not knowing, Sean. Yeah. You know, it's so funny. I uh, was not a big colorer in my, I will tell you, these zigs yeah. kind of changed it. Yeah, I know. You're so good now. I wouldn't say I'm good. I'm better. You're good. And the only reason we're showing up being a little bit careful on this is I am not going to cut out the wheels uh, or the little cars. You could cut those out individually. Um, but for me, um, I'm kind of going in a different direction with the card versus a whole bunch of 3Ds on it because uh, I kind of wanted more of a flat card. And once again, I kind of wanted to show off the versatility with the sets that you don't always have to do it one way. They give you enough tools really to go in a whole bunch of different directions. And that's what I love about it. You know, Sean's super quiet. Sorry, just trying to see if I missed anything here. Sometimes he gets so <laughs> obsessed with the questions, he forgets that I'm all by myself then. All by myself. I'm all by myself. And then he just starts answering questions, and I'm like, yeah. what are you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> Nito burrito. Okay, you need to generate some sort of conversation. Conversation, Sean. yeah. <laughs> Or you get a color and I also generate conversation because I'm dying here. Rhonda said, I just received a notification tonight. It's a wreath builder. You did? Oh, that's not a thermal web release. It is. Mm. That's a, a Gina K uh, release. So um, Gina K partners with thermal web and that's who I've been doing releases with. So mm -hmm. that is a Gina K specific. I'm um, not as... Uh, um, I, I, I don't do as much with just straight Gina K stuff. I, I have a relationship with Thermal Web. Yeah. Not yeah. that I don't, I wouldn't do stuff for Gina K, but yeah. she has a beautiful design team that does a lot yeah. of stuff for her. We know her. She's quite nice. She is awesome. She's very, very awesome. She is so, I'm so glad her um, Thermal Web stuff is doing good because mm -hmm. it, it couldn't have been to a nicer person. Yep. All right. So once again, we're just kind of lining up this to see what our color is because you can see the color is starting to get up lighter. Now we don't care. So this, remember, we cut a white strip here. Oh, sorry. Sean's not doing his job, Sean. Well, you started talking something different. So there we go. So this is all gonna be covered with the stuff that I've already cut. So if we color over that, we're not as worried. So this will be covered and all of these spikes will be covered. So we just wanna make sure we're not covering anything really, this will be covered. So really we're just getting in between the spikes and we really don't care if we cover too much. The only thing we have to be careful of is these ones here. I don't have anything connecting them. So once again, we're just gonna lay down some darker color and then Sean will kind of make sure I'm in the window and. Um, so th that's basically what we want to be careful that we don't cover over. Um, now you could have masked this and 
um, or just pretend it was a, a white background um, if you don't want to put in as much time as this to color but I really wanted this guy to peek through the ferris wheel so that's kind of what I'm doing here so really all I'm going to do is lay down some darker Bring it down Color. just a hair. There you go. I can back okay, you might I need can to zoom out because I yeah. can't keep, once I start coloring Sean, it's yeah. hard for me to move stuff. I'll go so right there. Right there. I need you to kind of move the camera instead. We're good. We need a Ken and Sean camp we can all go to. A camp? Maybe a... Uh, like a day camp? Maybe I think... Hard camp? Maybe a... Uh, um, a crop. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, maybe gotcha, that's, gotcha. Maybe that's what they mean. A crop. A crop. A crop. You know, I would love that. I think one of the things that I love most about um, doing this is meeting people and in real life and getting together with them. It's so fun and we don't get to do enough of that. So a camp would be kind of fun. Yeah. Bye, Jessica. Bye, Jessica. The other Jessica, sorry. Salas. Oh. She has to go to her son's classroom tonight. Ooh, is it like an open house? Probably, yeah. There's a some of the parents were talking about they had to take their kiddos. To I don't go. remember having that when I was a kid. No, me neither. We just showed up. It was kind of like it's school time. Go. Ken and Sean Cruz. I've looked into that. Um, somebody even talked. Some there was one. I don't know if it's in this room or not, but somebody has talked about trying to help us out with that. Yeah. Um, you know, it is just was Sean working still. He doesn't have the privilege of staying at home. Uh, we just need, yeah. Yeah. A lot of options out there. We just got to figure out what we want to do. You know, an in-person mini camp to do a bunch of crafts over a weekend or something. Ooh, that would be awesome. That's almost a crop because most crops are like three, four days. You know, and I... I have looked into it before. Um, the problem is, is obviously you guys know we live in Spokane, Washington. And even though we have an international airport, it's not a big airport. Nope. So it's really hard for people to fly into here for cheap. So if we did a crop or something like that, we would probably be doing it um, in a bigger city like Seattle because I would want people to be able to afford to come. Problem is, is as soon as you move it outside of your city, you need to make sure everything's planned really well because you right. can't just run home and get stuff. It's, yep. you know, it's all got to be there. So Art Anthology does a cruise. Who's Art Do Anthology? They? Um, they were at the um, Puyallup Fair. She has all that really cool stuff. Oh. That's good to know. Yeah. I didn't know she did a cruise. I knew Maymay did a cruise um, and stuff, so that's cool to know. All right, so we're just going to be bringing some color into here, and um, instead of adding, because as I'm going down, I don't want the color to be off too much, I'm just going to put some color down over here. You can probably see it there, and I'll pick up some of the darker color as I go, because right now, we kind of want that ombre look there. And stuff. Miss so. Kate says, if you do a Ken and Sean Cruz, can we come? Of course. <laughs> of course. They can parasail with us again. Yeah, come parasailing with us again. That was fun. It was fun. And thank you for letting us use your uh, camera. Those, those were actually some pretty cool shots. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Kisha says, I hope to get to Mark meeting Ken and Sean off my bucket list soon. Oh, that yeah. reminds me of the lady who uh, had the t-shirt at the Cricket Affair. She came up to me and she was like, you're on my bucket list. And I was like, what do you mean? And she had a shirt on that said everyone she wanted to get a picture with. And I was like, oh my gosh, how did I, you know, how amazing is that to, someone likes me enough that they want to get a picture with me. I'm on a bucket list. That's so sweet. That's why I do this. Right, Shawnee? Yes. That is so true. <clears throat> Two World Swings, Seattle. I'm biased. I'm here. Huh. You're a you're a West Sidey. West Sidey. She's on the West Side. Okay, you need to stop bouncing up on your feet. Sorry. Sean has nervous ticks, and it is his feet bouncing. Retreat. Yes. Mm-hmm. 
maybe join up with some other two YouTubers. Tots excited. Ooh, Disney Cruise. I know. I've never know. been on a Disney Cruise, and I've no. heard nothing but wonderful things yeah. about them. So true. Um, maybe someday. They're kind of expensive, yeah. but yeah. I've heard it's worth it. Yep. Who's been on a Disney Cruise in here? Gina called it a release party. I think it's based on her wreath builder for Christmas. Correct. Thank you, Georgia. Yeah. Yep. That is something for her specific. So I probably wasn't associated with that because I mostly, like I said, I associate with the, the thermal one. Yep. So we have that mystery solved. Thanks, everyone, for looking into that. Yep. Yes. Disney with Ken and Sean. I know this is probably boring for you guys to just see me coloring. <laughs> I probably should have colored it before, but I wasn't thinking. Watching Ken color is so relaxing. Oh, see, now you made me feel okay. <laughs> Kathy Van Deest, I think is how you pronounce it, loved our Disney cruise. Yeah, I've heard nothing but great things about Disney cruises. Mm -hmm. So true. Someday we will get there. Let's hope. I've been on a Disney cruise that was from Kathleen Banco. Oh, hi, Kathy. Hi, Kathleen. I've been on a Disney cruise. Awesome. I've heard nothing but, like I said, it's it's a little. They're a little spendy, but they. Um, I watched a YouTube on it, which was a great YouTube about how. They really invested in, um, you know, making it not only for kids, but adults getting everything out of it, too. And Carlene Bond says, yes, expensive, but worth it. And I don't have kids. Yep, that's there what I've go. heard. You don't even have to have kids. Nope. Hi, Nancy. All right, so we're just going to take that out because we kind of have our color scheme going up. I do need to lighten a little bit of the blue out on the... Uh, edges of some of these, which is not a problem. Are you making sure I'm still in view? Yes, you are. I'm backed out enough. So okay. Right. So from now on, we can just kind of put down a whole bunch of blue and then add our darkening elements. So this will go a little bit quicker. I've been on Disney's big red boat. So that was when they um, were owned by Disney Cruises. Actually, didn't really come until... Um, the early 2000s they used to be with a different company called premier cruising i think and their tagline was on the big red boat huh. so then they broke off and did their own cruise if you actually there's some great youtube uh videos on it if you look up uh, the history of the disney cruise line you can find out how originally they outsourced it they didn't want to do it they didn't want to compete um they were focusing on other things but then um this premier company um, did it and they saw the success and so they kind of just essentially copied what they were doing in Greece their cruise line and now they've set the standard so you can get lost mm -hmm. in YouTube when you can't sleep you watch stuff like that so Pe Peggy says watching Ken color makes me want of a want makes me want a piece of cake and a glass of milk really yeah I love cake miss Kate I have to tell you parasailing Sean just started filming everyone with his Osmos so they would have the footage. These two are truly great, kind, thoughtful guys. We were so lucky to become friends. Oh, Aww. thanks, Miss Kate. You guys were fantastic. I am Kid, all... Kids and all. Yes, I still feel bad for their one daughter. Yeah. Not bad, but she got it off her bucket she, list. Yes, yeah, she did. She did it. Um, you know what? I honestly, my, my philosophy is if you put good into the world and help people out... It will come back to you mm -hmm. somehow, some way. Yeah. Not everything is about making a buck or, you know, sometimes it's just about being good to people, yeah. being nice to people, being genuine. Yeah. No kids either per Kathy Van Deest. Very elegant. Disney movies and plays were so well done and we had a different restaurant every night. See, I've heard that. Wow. So much fun. That Me, I love food. We both love food. That is why yeah. we have bellies. Yeah. You know what? Love is food. Yeah. Miss Kate, I agree. Went out, went out to visit them last summer and had so much fun. Miss Angela. You're eating carrot cake? Mm. I am not a carrot cake fan. I, I do like carrot cake. 
You never eat it. Well, nobody ever serves it. It's very rare to find anybody actually serving it. Why is that? It's... Do people just not like it? It's 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 a very heavy cake. Of course, having the sour, uh, the cream cheese frosting is really awesome. I think that's the only <laughs> thing I like about carrot cake. Yeah. But you're right. It's it's not you don't see it often, and it's usually on clearance. I do think I don't like the stuff with. Do you like carrot cake with like the nuts in it and stuff? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I like I like the whole thing. Really? Yep. I've never seen you eat it. Trips. I think I mean, the only time is when we're at a wedding. I'm trying to figure who the last time we had carrot cake. It's been a while. We haven't been to a wedding or anything in a yeah, while. I know. And it depends on where the cake's from. Like sometimes cake, I love buttercream, but sometimes it's too. You don't like buttercream, do you, Sean? Buttercream is just too heavy. I did like. I think Angela made it on one of her, it was a, they call it the Swiss meringue or the French meringue. It's so much lighter than normal um, buttercream. And that's, I like those, those are good. Well, for a while there wasn't it. One of the bakeries here would always do their frosting with like a, a like a whipped frosting and mm -hmm. you loved yeah, that. Yeah, whipped frosting is awesome. It's super See, and light. The, thing, the reason we don't go to Costco enough is they don't really do fruit filling anymore. And uh, I nope. love like a raspberry fruit filling. But you guys want to know my, Sean better know this and you better have it ready for my birthday. Mm. What is my favorite kind of cake? That would be the uh, Dairy Queen. I can't wait. I'm already excited. You're Dairy. already saying it and my mouth is watering. Dairy Queen ice cream cake with the fudge and crunch in the middle. Oh my gosh, you guys. It is my jam. Yeah. Like, I know it's not good for me, but it is my jam. I like carrot cake as long as it doesn't have raisins in it. See, I just... I think they always, don't they always have raisins unless you, I don't know, I always thought they did. I don't think they always, and I think it's kind of a... Yeah, cream cheese frosting is probably the heaviest frosting I like. Other than that, I like all the light light ones. All right. I think our sky is done. Yes, Miss Kate, these pens are absolutely awesome. All right, so some of my sky is a little dark at the top. Um, which is not a big deal. What we can do, if, if you ever use these pens and they're too dark, what you'll do is you'll just kind of clean off your pen, remove it, clean off your pen. I'm not gonna worry too much about that. I think there'll be other color on there, I'm not gonna worry, but if you do worry and you're like, ooh, I don't like how my color doesn't, you know, you can see it kind of doesn't match up, but that's okay. We have a little bit of sky up there, but it'll be fine. I don't it's think it's a big deal. Pretty. Yes, all right, so right now it's a lot of blue. But we are gonna now add some color. So next thing we're gonna do is color all of these little carriages. So we have three colors we're gonna be using and that is um, fluorescent pink, mm -hmm. dark pink. We're gonna use light violet and deep violet. And we're gonna use light blue and Persian green. We're gonna start down here with the pink. So once again, I'm just gonna put a little bit of dark color just in some corners and then use the brighter color to kind of fill in the rest. So we'll do that. I'm just gonna tighten right there so you at least see what so you're doing there for two. a second. Oh, we're gonna just tighten? Yeah, I just did. Uh, okay. So do your whatever one there. So once again, we're just gonna kind of go around and we're gonna skip each one. There should be three of each. So I'm just gonna put down some darker color, skip, skip, pink, and then skip, skip, we're good. So no rhyme or reason here, we're just gonna put down color and then I'm gonna grab the light. Now remember, clean, clean, clean. So once you start mixing those colors, have something to clean that off. And that's how you're gonna get that nice shading. I promise you in the end, this card will come all together. Yes, it will. Right now you're probably saying, I have no idea what he is doing. He is doing a lot of coloring. What is it going to happen with this card? But I promise you, it will come together. It shall. You, you know, every time you say it shall, I think of, um, of uh, Lord of the Rings. Really? 
because he always the part that always sticks with me in that one is you shall not, not pass. Wasn't that the he's like the gray guy, right? There was Gandalf the gray when he was the gray, because then he, he was, turns into the white. Yes, eventually. I feel so edumacated <laughs> on them Lord of the Rings now. You guys have no idea. What can be bad about a Disney's cruise? Disney is the happiest place on earth. And not a, necessarily and true. Well, <laughs> depends on who you're many going, things. Many. All right. So the next is going to be purple. So I'm going to start with once again. My dark colors, we're gonna add dark up here and down here, and then we'll start with the light. Um, so not too much of the dark because the light's gonna really make this pop. And on this, because we are not cutting out those spokes, you just wanna see where those dots are because we do want to put jewels on those dots. So not too much of the dark purple, it's really dark, and really you want your lighter colors to carry this. So once I put down this light, you really should see that purple pop. Once again though, make sure you're cleaning this, these bristles because they pick up a lot of that color and it can mix very easily. But see how it just kind of picks up that that dark color and gives you that beautiful blend. These markers are amazing. Tony, if you are not a colorer, these markers will change you. Even Sean can color with these. I've tried. I'm not great, but I've done it. I think you do great. Did I? Yeah. You don't give yourself enough credit. Hmm. And this is why I did the heat emboss is because, um, or yeah, the uh, embossing powder because we're coloring so much that it kind of gives you a little bit of a barrier. And so this way you're not worried about your colors mixing too much because everything is right here. Does that make sense, Sean? I think so. If you ever get a chance, go to the Princess Breakfast in the Castle. It was absolutely amazing. I've heard that. Is can, that at Disney? Can, can we go as no children if you want? I don't think you ha Is that a requirement at Disney that you have to have children? All right. So last one is this dark teal. And once again, just put down a little bit of that dark color and then we'll finish it up with the uh, light color. My zigs get used a ton. I love them. They're worth the money. Yeah. Linda. So I can't stress this enough. Oh, for me, what works, I'm not saying this is the what you have to do, but for me, it works putting down my darker color and then just a little bit of it and then carrying it through. That's where you get kind of those bright, beautiful colors. If you put down too much of the dark color, it will over dominate the entire carriage and you don't want that. True. Oh, thanks, Jamie. What? She put a um, your uh, link for the Zig Clean Colors. Oh, thanks. You cannot go to Legoland without a child. This is true. You can't? Nope. Yeah. Well, I don't know if that rule is still imposed, but it used to be. You had to have enter Legoland with the, with the kiddo. Wow. All right. So here we go. We have all of our little carts done. I'll show you kind of our progress. That's what we're looking like. Okay. Look at that. All right. And now what we're going to do is color our spokes, which are these guys here where did mine go so this is going to be pinks and then we go all the way up into blues and purple so we're going to start with the pinks once again putting down the dark colors and then working our way in so really this is going to be everywhere in these little tiny crevices once again we're not worried too much about covering the dots because we will be using other um, jewels on that so I'm going to put down my dark pink at first. 
Well, Mama Disney, that's a great name. She says, you may go and enjoy with our children. My children are grown and we have a blast. Disney is for all ages. I love Disney. We need to go to Disney World. We've been to Disneyland, obviously, quite a few times, but we need to go to Disney World. Georgia had the same cake for her birthday, too. It is yummy. I love that cake. I can't wait. All right, so I have my darker color once again. We're going to be clean, 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 clean. But what you're going to do is do circular motions to pick up that darker color, just like so, and then bring it down. And then clean your brush. You can always add more color, but you cannot take, you can take that away. I don't want to say that you can't, because you can with water. It just, sometimes I, I like bright, vibrant colors, so that's why I clean and do circular because it mixes really well. One hundred and ninety-six people watching. Yay! Thanks, everybody. Sorry, it's not as exciting. Some people like to watch coloring and others do not. <laughs> so it's all personal preference. I could have had this all done and just showed you how to complete the card, but today's been kind of a, a crazy day. So I wasn't, I'll be honest, I wasn't prepared. That's why we don't have a can from the car. That will be tomorrow. Tomorrow. There's always tomorrow. Love those bright colors. I do too. Mm -hmm. I like to make bright colors that just pop and really make the card stand out. And what's nice with the embossing powder is I don't have to worry about that smearing. I mean, Versamark doesn't smear, but you know, this way I don't have that concern. So there we go. Now, if you wanted to, you could blend this out a little bit more, add more colors. So if, if you're not super happy with that blend, you can do this and just kind of zoom it down just like so. And then we can also add, oh, let's get that blended a little better. And we can also add a little bit darker back in those deep corners, which I'll do here in one sec. And just by adding those extra layers, you're going to get a really good blend on that. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna grab the start. Anyone, anyone having glitchy issues with the design space? Um, not that I'm aware of. Mm. Who's saying that? Melinda Gibson. I know that um, sometimes I get that because I have too many windows open. Um, and I'll clear my caches and stuff and it seems to fix it. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're done with the pink. We're gonna start on our blue now. And then purple is in the center there. So actually I'll start with the purple. Um, we're not gonna put it on the dots, but we're gonna start with dark purple kind of in all of these corners. It's kind of hard to see, it kind of looks blackish. And then we'll bring those colors down. So not too much of that dark purple. That dark purple a little goes a long way. And then I'm just going to grab it and kind of bring it down there. Mm -hmm. Jamie's been in design space all day and not a single issue. Good. Yeah, I was gonna say I, I haven't I was in there earlier today and I wasn't having an issue, but and she's saying the same thing. Clear your browsers, cache, and reboot. Yep, exactly. It's so hard because so many things affect um, you know, the computer. I have the same thing with Facebook. A lot of times I'll I'll get on Facebook and things are not loading or and it's like, well, is it my computer? Is it Facebook? And so simple fixes like that could be all that you need. The world we live in now, I tell you. All right, 
had a little cutty there that I needed to fix. So same thing, I'm gonna start with my darker colors and bring down. Now this one does have a spoke right through it. So I will make sure not to color the spokes. So Melinda says, as I'm having to go on chat to help, I picked a pattern, paid for it, then when I had to resize the image, it made me pay for the pattern again, over and over. Yeah, that sounds like a customer service issue. Yes, it is. I would give them a call and they'll get you all set. All right, so once again, Lil, can they see this? I know it's I so. really I, tight. Let me zoom in a little more. So here. kind of do little circle motions and then bring the color down. Bye, Miss Kibiki. See you later. I have your mugs coming to you tomorrow. Hey, headed to bed. Night, everyone. Sad face. Who's sad? She said that she has to leave. She has to get oh. up. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. Carrot cake is a staple in the Midwest, Missouri. I don't really care for it, but many of my friends are carrot cake connoisseurs. Oh, I just colored my spokes, but that's okay. Because that will be covered by this actually now that I think about it that will cover that okay 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 are we ready what are we doing next so now we can start building our card well there we go I'm ready you ready yes you ready Freddy ready Freddy all right can we go up just a little bit like right there absolutely absolutely all right so this is our grass I don't want it to cover it completely but I do want it kind of in the background there um, and then I'll probably want, eh, no, I don't, I won't do that. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with the grass and then we'll build up. So let me grab some tape. Tapeage. <clears throat> All right. So we'll put this on the card base first, cause this is going to be kind of a, even though we're not doing a lot of um, 3D elements, um, I am going to have to use um, like art glitter glue because some, some of this stuff is going to be pretty small to put on there. Some of those layers. So we'll put this down here. How long does the color stay juicy enough to blend? Mm. Should stay fairly juicy because it's. I mean, I mean, you can just reactivate it with water again. Mm -hmm. So it's water based. Mm hmm. It is. So all you have to do is really reactivate it with the tip of the pin again, and you should be good. Yeah. It stays pretty, pretty good. We need a little bit of a skinnier for this. I'll be right back, Shani. Gotta have a skinny one. Just won't work. Yeah, these ten, these pins are very, very nicely pinned. Let me show you another close up again. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Very fine point. I'm not wild about this one, but I need to find a skinnier one. This is the Doris. It's not bad, it's just not my favorite one to use. But it'll do the job. So we're gonna put the grass down along the bottom. And we're gonna have two sets of grass here, Sean. Ooh, two. There's the first. Do you think you should do just an overlay or like split it? What do you mean? So the peaks are within the peaks and the valleys. Like this, you mean? Offset it. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do, but. Oh. Oh, dang. Like I was gonna go like this, but yeah. I need it to go corner to corner. So, hmm. Because if I do that, it's not gonna go all the way over. But I could do that. Is 
Is that what you were saying, Shoni? Yeah. Does that make you happy? Happy. Anything that makes you happy, I'm all for. Oh. So we're just going to cut that right there on the edge of the card. And we could, could add this one for your last little peek, Sean. There you go. Look at you. No, Sean, look at you. All right, so the next thing is we're gonna put down this bad boy right here. And I'm gonna just offset it a little bit, probably like, cause I don't want, well, do I want it centered or do we want to go off the center a little? No, I think so. I'd say centered. Good night, Renee, happy workout. Happy workout? She's leaving so she can go work out. That's very good. All right, so this one is going to be held up with my favorite thing. 3D squares. 3D squares. So 3D. at least the, so raise it up. And this is the only thing I'm really going to be raising up on this card. Mm. The rest of it, it's just, there is so much going on. And then we have a lot of jewels to put on this bad boy. Now we do have um, foam tape we could use, but I'm trying to get through these. These are fun stamper foam squares. And once I'm out, I'm out because I'm no longer coach for them so let's... oh hi diet sorry you missed what was that she missed out diet i'm sorry she said i signed out of my turtle account oh yeah and in as me perfect i don't know she had a turtle account <laughs> uh yeah that's kind of her nickname Twiddle. not i think she has it i think it's totally creative or something mm -hmm. i love turtles <laughs> you're so funny that was a funny piece it was a funny piece. That was a good. What do you want to say? I love turtles. All righty. Back over to you guys. Yep. <laughs> it was so random. This is the first time you're live and I'm watching. Well, welcome, Whoa. Barbara. Barbara. All right. So we are now going to remove all of these and Sean will get rid of them for me once we're done. Hi, Laura. Hi, Laura. Vasquez. So close to our friend Ali's. Velazquez. Yeah. I think, I think so blue ribbon crafts. Oh, that's kind of interesting. No notifications again. I'm sorry. Just remember, Sarah, we're going to be live between 4.30 and 5.30. Somewhere within that hour we'll be live. Every so often life gets in the way and we're not live. Yes, sometimes. Um, but we definitely try to be. Yes. Um, it, I was going to try to go live always earlier, so we were done by now because that was the whole point of working from home. But Sean really likes doing this with me, so mm -hmm. I wait for him to get home from his work. Yeah. He does things without me from time to time, which is totally fine. Um, make sure, if for those who have subscribed and pressed the bell button... You may want to double check the bell because the, if you right click the bell, it might be set to occasional, so you don't always get them. You can choose that and change it to always, so that should help. Not to say it's perfect, but it should help. It should help. San Jose, California. All right, so now that we have that layer, we can add our other layers. Now, this is where a little bit of our art glitter glue is going to come in. So the first thing you have to think of this as a Ferris wheel. So what, you know, all of this, so this is going to be our top layer because that's basically what's going to hold it. You do have this that will come on here. So you could either do that in the back or we could put it on top. So we're going to put this on the top because we want the jewels to be on the top. So this is going to really be our last piece. Um, these are all extras. This goes on here. We're going to line that up and then put jewels. So really all of these three pieces are going to go down first, then the spools, then the over piece. So let me show, I'll lay it down here just so you guys can see. So there'll be that. And I'm not lining it up perfect, so do forgive me. All of this is going to go down first, then this. Wait a minute, that's gonna end up going right here. Then this, 
and then that. Make sense? Mm -hmm. You got it, Sean? I got it. All right. So we're going to put the outer piece on first, and then we will... This one won't have any jewels on it, but this one will. And this one does have to get lined up just perfect. So we're going to put a little bit of art glitter glue, not too much. Our favorite for that super fine point. Thank you, Mimi. And I'm just adding it to the actual jewel dot. So I can show you. I have another piece over there you can show yeah, them what it looks can, like. We'll, uh, it's pretty detailed. And there is some that have four little dots, and then there's some that have five little dots. So you're going to so really want to pay attention where it goes. There's one, two, three, four. There's a five dot. One, two, three, and there's a five. Maybe they're all five. They're all five or just random? But anyway, there's a four dot. So that's what he's putting the uh, glue on it, just those dots. And then we just need to make sure we, so the ones that are one, two, three, four, five, I think this goes right over here. Hmm. Lara, Laura, Lara, Laura, Laura. She's going to the Scrapbook Expo in Arizona and taking the Samplistic class there. How much, how fun. Her classes are a lot of fun. Yes. You will love it. All right, so it's going to line up and then we're just gonna kind of push it down and then we're gonna add our jewels. Now these jewels, we have purple. Oh, I'm sorry, Shawnee. Sorry, I just wanna center this a little bit. We have purple, pink, and blue and we're gonna go pink, purple, wait, no. Yes, so we're just gonna go in. So we might as well add these two to it and, and be done. So once again, we'll just add some art glitter glue to this. And you have to pay extra for the super fine point though, right? To get the fine point? I don't remember. Some of those who know, Tamitha would know if she was in here, but she's not in right now. Angela might know. But yeah, this stuff is really good. And she can only ship it to warm places during the winter because it freezes if it comes like up here. It does. So if, if it's late in the season and it's winter time, she can stay in the south, but she can't go north. So if you need it, get it now while it's still warm. I'm so proud you remembered that. Hmm? I said, I'm so proud you remembered that little tidbit of yeah. info. Belinda says she took two classes from Jennifer at Creating Keepsakes in Houston. Wow. Okay, so the nice thing on this is we're gonna put our little lid back in there. September 14th and 15th in Mesa. These things we're going to put through my Xyron. Yes, thank you, everybody. Yes, you do have to pay for that fine point extra. Thank you. Your wonderful creative station. Yeah, if it's not a very... Um, uh, detail piece. I love this because this puts a nice layer on everything. Yes, Val, 105 is warm enough. What was that? <laughs> like we were saying, it has to be warm when it ships. It's, oh, it yeah. Is, is, 145, is 105 warm I enough? I think you're good. I think it might turn to water. <laughs> Costs three bucks, basically. What does? Uh, the, the, extra, the fine tip. You're going to want it, though. Yeah, you definitely want it. It comes with a little pin to help it. All right. So before we add this final piece, I want to add all of the jewels on here and then we're going to add jewels on the bottom here. So hopefully these jewels work, work. with me nice. Because there is two different sizes. Yes, there is. Yes. So I'm going to grab some uh, tweezers. The 
there's the larger ones, and there's the smaller ones. So we're gonna do a pink on the outside, and they just come right off, and then we're gonna line them up with all of these. Well, that one went away. And I tried to find these smallest ones, um, but, whoops. Um, I only had Joanne's, so I didn't have a lot to work with. Are the two of you sick? No, we're not sick. Are we supposed to be sick? I sniffle because I, I believe I've got some. Don't get me sick. No, no sniffles as in Allergies. You have right? allergies right now? We think so. We think oh, that's, yeah, that's you probably... Oh, something in the mail today. Yes, yeah, so I know. I got... I finally get to... I got a uh, thing in the mail so I can go see the allergist in October because we're trying to figure out why in the hell am I getting fat lips from food because even though my food blood work for allergies came back negative, so I'm going to have a scratch test done. What is a scratch and test? And I can't... They actually... You know, remember when our little kiddo... Corin, they did all I didn't go there with oh, you. They stab, you. You literally get stabbed. Oh, that's <laughs> they go, not nice. They, they go like this. There's like five and five. They pick them up and they just go, tink. And it puts a little tiny a poke in the back with each um, stuff. Oh, I bet you kids don't like that No, too he much. he was screaming. screaming. He was screaming during Poor that Poor kiddo. Time. Yeah. But once it was done, it was done. And then um, whatever has a rise is what you're allergic to. Oh. And that's how we found out he was allergic to feathers, some chocolate, um, some other things. I think I might be becoming allergic to my dogs because it seems like when I'm home, I'm more stuffed up. Oh, Which is fine. I, I Yeah, because I you do care. know if I have to choose between you and the dogs, who it's wins. It's always the dogs. Yeah, so it's I more. It's going to be more like, if anything, I just take, you know, some pills. Oh, some pills. Yeah, gotcha. like, I, like I do now for when I get my fat lip. Yeah. That, so, one, that one's really weird why I get that. Because I actually got it without eating food at all. I, it just puffed up for no reason. So if you are doing this, I would definitely spend more time. I am not really worried about the color lining up or alternating colors. Um, because I want to be kind of sensitive to your time. Um, but obviously you could spend a little bit more time maybe alternating colors. We're going to do pink on the outside. The next color in will do probably a purple. Um, on this one and then blue on that one um, but I really do think adding the jewels to this card is what's gonna make it so definitely add the jewels but you could probably spend a little bit more time than I am lining them up and but that's the other reason why I didn't really want to um, do a lot of 3d with this card because there's gonna be a lot of jewels when we're done but it's gonna pop, Sean. Pop, pop, pop. You know what? Wow. I went to Junkie Fest 2018, Stamp Junkies in Minneapolis in July. I took classes from Gina, Rena, Gina K, Christopher Allen, and Taylor from Taylor Expressions. It was amazing. Wow, that sounds like a lot of fun. My son had to have 36 of the little pins in his back at one time. Yep. Oh, do it all, I'm sorry. Do it all at once. And the one that should always pop up is the histamine. Because basically everybody's allergic to that. Really? Yeah. You are so edumacated, Sean. You at should least be that's a, what they told me. You should be hey, a doctor. Can we, you're pulling yourself. There you go. You should be a doctor. Doctor. Doctor Sean in the house. You need a stone picker. I do. Yeah, well, you know, the ones from uh, uh, Diamond Dots, they have one. Yeah. I, I, I really wish we could have gotten that Diamond Dot thing. It was so awesome. Oh, here okay. we go. It was really awesome. I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't know why they didn't. Yeah, they were going to send us. Which one did you? I don't know. Uh, it's been so long. Yeah, I was going to get the, the four panel one or the three panel one with the red flowers and stuff. Oh, yeah. That's the one I was going to get. Well, I don't know. Sometimes we get it, sometimes we don't. 
I put a drop of art glitter glue on each jewel. Oh my god, that would take forever with this many of them. Yeah, that's the reason I went with the kind of self adhesive jewels because that absolutely is a option. You can do art glitter glue and put a little drop on it. You could also use um, Ranger's Dimension Glue would add mm -hmm. a really good one. Um, I know a lot of people do the Shavarsky crystals, but they're kind of expensive. And this one is a lot of jewels. Yeah. Laura, Laura says, it won't let me post here. Can I PM you on your Facebook? Yeah. Sure, whatever you need to post. If you're trying to post a link, it sometimes won't let you. Yeah, a moderator can post a link. Yeah, they're, they're kind of picky on links and yeah. stuff. All right, so I think I got all my pink jewels. Looking good, looking good. So next will be these here, which I'm going to use purple. These are going to be a little bit of a bigger jewels. Mm -hmm. I'll grab those and let's see I want to do kind of this color that I'm liking so these are going to go right there he is not adding any adhesive to them these have adhesive on the back right we know that sometimes people like to use glue just to make it more permanent, I guess. I tried self-adhesive and they came off over, over time. Is there a certain brand that works best? You know, I don't know. Um, I would say if I had, if I was doing this um for myself if i wasn't doing this for a, a youtube i probably would add glue i'd have more time just because yes the, the unfortunate part of using self-adhesive stuff like this is especially if you're going to send it through the mail they can come off um there is irock i'm not a big fan of irock but irock is where it actually fuses the glue to your paper um so there's that option these are the name of these are EK Success. I've never had these. Um, the jewels that I had, uh, the adhesive was not good. So I went to Joann's and this is what they had for me too. I love when you say Swarovski, crystals. Yeah. Ha. I'm, a, I'm a mess, I know. Yeah, those are beautiful crystals too. Yeah. All right, so this is gonna end up going here. So I do wanna put this down before I do anything else because there is gonna be jewels on each spot. Then there's gonna be these jewels right here in the center or we can keep that white. Um, now there is all of these that if you wanted to add jewels, you could. Um, I'm not going to, but you could. Yeah, but you can. You can buy clear and color them with any color you want with alcohol markers. Ooh. Neat. So what we're going to do on this one before I place this down is kind of get an idea of where the jewels are going to go on this. And these are going to be these teal jewels. So it's just going to give me an idea of, okay, this one goes here. So on and so forth. And before I press it down, I'll... Oops. You know what, in fact, I'm going to put this through my sticker maker. I just now thought of that instead of using art glitter glue. So, change of plan. Change of plans. That is what we do sometimes to you guys, sorry. Never ceases to amaze me. Did, she, uh, did the lady from Sim Plastic Tool, which is Jennifer, by the way, have a jewel setting tool she used in her video from the she show. Does. She definitely does. It's yes. amazing. It's, yeah, it was very cool. I watched that video. Never amazes me. I We're still live and we already have a thumb down, Sean. What oh. did you do to make someone mad? I don't know. Oh, thanks, John. Uh, happy dinner. Hope it's good. Mmm, dinner. Love cats. K-A-T-Z.
I've never heard of IROC. So it is, excuse me, um, IROC is a, it's kind of a jewelry tool that you can um, put down um, rocks and then you heat them and it gets the adhesive going. Mm -hmm. So I had it, I got rid of it because I didn't use it um, because my, it took a while for it to heat and I just wasn't a fan. Yep. All right, so we're gonna add this now. We're gonna just kind of keep our spacing. I'm gonna try to use all one color. All one color. Yeah, there's one in every crowd, so true. It's like every time you posted a video, you'd always get... Oh, my thumbs down? Thumbs down. Yeah. And it's terrible that you don't tell you who does it. It's engagement. I don't care. Not everyone's going to like everything, right? This is true. Can't take it personal. But we have 80 thumbs up. See, there you go, Sean. Good job. That's for you. The thumbs up or the thumbs down? The thumbs up. Oh, isn't that nice of them? Thank you. They love the Shawnee. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, so we have our jewels on the bottom. Now we're not gonna have any jewels going up top, so we're gonna do some teal jewels there. And then, I don't know what we're gonna do in the middle. Maybe leave those white, or maybe get some nice crystals. What do you think, Sean? Maybe some diamond-like white crystals. Ooh. Maybe, I don't know. Sean likes the high quality. Hi, Mel. Hey, Mel. She says, I get thumbs down all the time. Don't you just hate it? You know, it used to bug me a lot. Um, but like you said, it's engagement, which means- It's engagement. They, they um, but I don't care anymore. I've decided that some people are gonna like me, some don't. Mm -hmm. I can't make them all happy, right, Shawnee? True. We can try. We try our best. We try our best. Ooh, we're up to 94. Can we get past 100? All right, so I'm not going to add little jewels in here. I think that's going to be fine. But I do like Sean's idea of adding some crystals in there. Yeah, white crystal, diamond-like. So diamonds? Diamond-looking, I guess I would say. Love the Kenny, too. Sean, your wish mm. is my command. Oh, thanks, Cynthia. Whoa. 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 It's coming right for us. That one shot right out there, didn't it? It did. That was crazy. I don't think this one has sticker on it. Oh, maybe it does. I just didn't do a good job sticking it down. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Is this what you're thinking, Johnny? Mm -hmm. This has got a lot of bling on it. Bling, bling. And this blue one just doesn't want to stick, so I'm going to get a new one. Ooh, 102. Sweet. You're so funny, Sean. You're cracking me up, Shawnee. Getting closer to 100,000, everyone. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Please, please, please. Here, I'll even do... This might show it up a little bit. Whew. Once again, that white... The little bell, when you see the bell, right-click and hit all... And then... Click on always. Do you see that last one that went bling and went somewhere? No, I have no. I didn't even see which way it went. Oh no! I need huh. that last one because it's the right size. Let me see if one fell off in my. Hmm. Well, one will just have to be bigger. That's okay. Take the uh, one in the middle. Can you take that one out in the middle and then put the big one in the middle? Maybe? That is the big one. Oh, that is the big one. Yeah, I had one that blinged off. And which way do you, Which way do you think it went? I don't know. I think it hit me in the forehead. Oh, ah! oh okay. well. Oh, well. We'll use this one here. Oh, wait. Oh. What's that underneath the cord? The cord? Is that this? it? Is that it? No, that's blue. Oh, that's a blue one. That's a blue that went blink. Check oh, it. well. Shaky darns. Oh, wait. Is it stuck on me? No. Oh, well. I'm not going to worry about it. 
It's just a hair bigger. Yeah, it's just a smidge smooch bigger. There you go. Mm. Oh, wait. Nope, no, that's not it. I don't know where it went. That's a bummer. Yeah. All right, guys. What do we think? What do we think? Let's get a nice close-up here. Very involved card, but look at all that bling. If someone was to get that and open it, it's raised up from the there. You got jewels going everywhere. Hey, get your not good. Involved, but good. This is where the jewels came from. All that bling. Bling, 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 bling. There's jewels everywhere. <laughs> it flipped toward you, Ken. Look on the bottom of your shoe. Look on the bottom of my shoe. Ooh. Oh! Is that it? No, that's no. a pink. It was, I had one on my shoe. Well, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, oh well. There you go. What do you guys think? Love, love, love. Beautiful. Looks great. Nice. Kind of fun, huh? I told you it was going to be a long video. Almost two hours. Wow. Yeah. And we still have over 200 people watching. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for saying. Um, I had a lot of fun and it was something different, but I wanted it to be nice and bright and and fun. So, yay. So if you're a patron, you might win this card. You never know. Never know. So there you guys are. I can't wait to see what the next month card is. And we will be back tomorrow i do plan on having a ken from the car tomorrow and also a video tomorrow um on i don't know yet what it'll be uh, a surprise 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 yeah so thank you so much everyone for watching i truly appreciate all of you thank you for everyone who stuck around for the full two hours and i hope you guys have an amazing evening thanks everyone go out there create something magical bye everybody